Story unfolding right now. NASA just confirmed they are still aiming to launch on Saturday. That means we are less than two days from the second shot at the first launch of its mega moon rocket, the SLS. News 6's James Barvero is live at Kennedy Space Center, where an Artemis 1 briefing just wrapped up. James? And you can see the clock is ticking down, Nisa, Lisa, ticking down towards Saturday, 2.17 in the afternoon. Since Tuesday night, we've been telling you that was NASA's new opening of its new launch window on Saturday. They confirm everything's still on track. And the big news is they feel that they were able to fix a lot of the issues that popped up back during Monday's scrub. They talked to us how they've been fixing the technical problems. They're blaming the troubles on a bad sensor. Also, the launch director says the source of the hydrogen leak, that was found and fixed. And about keeping those engines cool, Another of Monday's problems, NASA says it has no doubt enough hydrogen will be able to flow this time to complete that proper chill down. Listen to more on looking ahead to the Saturday window. We are uh, again proceeding into our Saturday launch attempt. Uh, we're comfortable with our wrist posture. Uh, that said, there's no guarantee that we're going to get off on Saturday, but we're going to try. NASA also gave an update on the weather. The conditions are 60% favorable for liftoff. The weather officer says if the rocket does not launch on Saturday, she says it would probably not be blamed on the weather. So again, the big news, NASA confirming they're pressing ahead with the 217 launch attempt in the afternoon on Saturday. Certainly to the delight, Lisa, of about 400,000 people Brevard County expects on the Space Coast watching over the holiday weekend. Live at NASA's Kennedy Space Center, I'm James Sparvero, getting results News 6. James, thank you. We have complete pre-launch coverage on our website. We will also carry the Artemis One mission live on ClickOrlando.com and right here on News 6.